On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. All right, now let's get to the last request of the marathon, Deep Valley, Baby I Will Call Her, which is allegedly, according to Nick, similar to like Royal Blood or something like that. Uh, all right, let's check out the YouTube video. Uh, I know nothing about this band. Where are they from? This is 10 years ago. They're in L out of L.A., California. Let's go. Baby, I call hell. be about the same time royal blood came out were they even out when this came out and i only say you know and when he's saying obviously a uh, girl version of royal blood meaning bass and drums and 2013 i saw them in 2015 i'm talking about royal blood we talked about it earlier on the live stream uh i said they opened up for foo fighters so i want to know who came out first i think that was right when they came out royal blood Sorry, who's influencing who here? Royal Blood. All right, they came out in 2011. I don't think they hit until like 2013, 2014 maybe. Uh, doesn't really matter, but let's keep going. What's really, I, I mentioned this a lot on reactions, you know, why fucking didn't I hear this? This has a million and a half views. Came out in 2013. I was right in my wheelhouse of program at a fucking radio station <laughs> that played music like this. Uh, I'm just curious why the fuck I was, why would this, wasn't that any of the, uh, uh, the music that the consultant said you should play or any of that fucking bullshit. Ha <laughs> ha. Stupid. Like a fool, you
like that melody. I really do have to ask, though, if uh, the drummer seems to have a very stiff style, and I don't know if that is some sort of performance thing <laughs> or if that's the way she naturally drums. Uh, either way is fine, but I just don't know if it is a uh, a performance thing or <laughs> hitting it all stiff like that because it looks funny. Yeah, I really um, uh, get irritated sometimes when I'm like, you know, I worked in this fucking industry that says that they're all about like promoting new music and we have new artists and blah, blah, blah. And then the reality is, is that uh, they don't fucking uh, give you anything resembling the amount of stuff that's out there. You know what I mean? It's... It's maddening sometimes. I'm so happy I'm not in that industry anymore. Uh, drummer wasn't bad, Nick. Uh, it was just some of the, the style-wise. I'm just like, I don't know. But it was a good song, you know? When you have a bass, or excuse me, a band that is just a rhythm section, there's really only so much you can do. What the hell? Everything!